So, one uh, good uh, tip that I'll give you too is prep before you put this on the rack. A lot of people would have the tendency to put the kayak up there and put the straps on afterwards. Bad idea, if you get your straps ready, prior to putting the kayak up there, it'll make it a lot easier in a few minutes for you. So what I like to do is, this is actually slightly against what the manufacturer would recommend. They have on the top of these load bars here, a spot for you to put the strap here. If you want to put that strap through there, what that does is keep it at the top of the load bar for you. And you can put this back and get ready to put your kayak up there. That works very well, and they added that little clip a few years ago as a little um, extra feature on these. It works very well. I've done this so many times that I personally think it is easier to simply take your strap and do the same thing, but start low on the rack here. Set your strap off to the back of the car. Do the same thing here on the exterior pole of these down loaders. Take this. Set it off at the front of the car, and now we're ready to put the kayak up on the roof. So, I will demonstrate putting it up there by myself at first, so I've done this quite a bit. I am a pretty strong guy and I can lift this kayak over the top of my head. If you can't, it is always advised to do it with two people. I'll put it up there by myself and show you, and then I'll have Amanda who will put it up there with two people too, so you can see how you can do both ways. The easiest way is to simply grab in the center of the kayak here, and lift it over your head like that if you can do it come up to the rack, set it in there like this, and simply push it so that it flops up like that. And then from here, you just want to slide the kayak a little bit so that it looks roughly level on your roof like that. And this is going back to having these straps ready before. So what you can do is you can take these straps, walk around the back of the kayak, flip it over like that, and then you come to the back here, and because I put that strap down here instead of up top, what I have to do is make sure that strap goes all the way up to the top of the load bar back here. So it doesn't necessarily matter that it's in that clip. You just need to make sure that your strap goes to the top of the bar over there. And then what you want to do is take your tag end that doesn't have the buckle on it, pull that, and that is going to pull the buckle up to about the center of the kayak here. Take your strap that is the tag end without the buckle, run that through the hole on the front of the down loader, underneath your load bar. That is one of the most important steps for putting these um, on the top of your car like this or using the down loader system, is this strap should always go underneath the main load bar of your car, not just connected to the down loader itself. It's just a fail safe, just in case you didn't tighten a bolt hard, uh, tight enough, or if something would happen, the more and more um, hard fixed objects you can take this strap to the better. So going underneath the load bar, back up through the hole. And the reason we want this buckle up here, even though it's a little bit far reach for me, we're going to put it through that uh, rubber down here. And this neoprene and rubber is there if this kayak wasn't brand new and wrapped up right now. That saves it from scratching the kayak. Also, if this buckle will fall down and hit your car, it doesn't scratch or um, break your window. So we're going through that tab there, through the bottom of the metal buckle, and simply pulling that. And the reason we have the buckle up there is so that at this point, you can actually get leverage and pull down and get that to be tight. And that's really all you have to do to put the strap on. So we'll put it on this other side over here. And that's about all there is.